they should know no, then, then i i bow down and we go back to one of the earlier policy no, that's the only answer no, no it's not like that that's why we said we are not we are not for a moment saying that look there are three or four considerations which are very important one the need to reduce the the, the cash element in the electoral process we very important reduced, right, right? So? second the need to encourage the use of authorized banking channels for that purpose Correct which is the only way you can reduce the cash element. Correct. that's the second consideration third there is a countervailing consideration uh, sorry third is incentivizing the use of the banking channels which is confidentiality according right. to us and therefore according to incentivizing the use of the authorized banking channels should therefore result in greater confidentiality but there is a fourth consideration which is a need for transparency and a fifth consideration which is that this should not become a legitimization of kickbacks yeah, and quid pro quo between Correct. the the power centers whether in the states or in the center and people who are really in that sense they are they are benefactors of that power they are they are they are supplicants they I, want I, I, they I want bow down. Uh, yes i bow down so no. all these so when when the balance is drawn between these of course the balance has to be drawn by the uh, by the legislature and by the executive not by us we are quite conscious of that but it's not therefore that you have an either or either you have this or you go back to an entire cash system you can design another system which does not have the flaws of this system which really they they put a premium on the they put put a premium on opacity you can still devise a system which balances out in a proportional way that's the point i i I'll, I'll just how it is to be done is for you to decide i i just we will not go step into that arena that's no part of our function i'll i'll just respond to malod uh, after showing the scheme but let me respond the last point first which is bothering a lot sir that this might be used as legitimized kickback well first of all whenever your lordships are considering a a piece of malod subordinate legislature like a scheme because you know in now these five considerations which i have listed out you must now read in the perspective of how it has been implemented first there was a cap that your donation must be related to a percentage of net profits a percentage of net profits meant that the company must be in a position to have net profits and that you would donate 5% initially then it became 7.5% under the 2013 act <coughs> now what have we done now we say that well it has nothing to do with whether you have net profits or not in other words the company may have zero profits it may have zero turnover but it gets a donation only for the it gets a certain mm-hmm. income or revenue only for the purpose of the donation that that means I'll with immediately the, say that passes must i'll immediately say and your lordships may not s- clarify that if that is the not any concern it's the right concern that so far as the condition with regard to the profit making company that percentage of a net profit malo a non not pre, not prefer profit making company cannot do but i i understand because then it would be used as a shell company that is one of the objectives we have removed 2 2 lakh 30000 shell companies malo from the system so what will you do then you will bring about an uh, amendment to the company is that government let, let, me, not, let, let me take your lordship through this so you will move an amendment to uh, amend the company's act to the effect that uh, amending my lord uh, is a legislative function i i cannot make that but you have to move the amendment if you yeah, yes you not, or your lordship may my lord read it accordingly no is the government making a statement that we will amend the company's act to bring back the position what it was namely no. that this will be only a percentage of the net profit no 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 i am not saying percentage i am saying profit making company can only do but tell us something assuming there is a profit making it may have a 1 rupee profit it may have a 100 rupee profit yes sir why would a company if you don't have a percentage yes sir. why would a company for what conceivable reason would a company donate 100% of its profits because you have to take the extreme case yes yes sir. that's why i give you a 1 rupee company passes the threshold that i am a profit making company i i have to answer i have a 1 rupee profit but i will donate 100 crores why would a company do that i i will not uh... therefore when you know it, it, it can't be that you know uh, you are, the government says that well it can't be that or we lay down under 140 to the principle that so long as you are a profit making company you can donate as much as you want the reason why these caps were introduced that they stood the test of time were for a very legitimate reason namely that you are a company your purpose is to carry on business your purpose is not to donate to political parties 
and if your purpose is not to donate to political parties you must donate only a small portion of your uh, assuming that that's an altruistic motive which is of course not so but we will not go into it because i did challenge the 1956 act provision the 2013 act provision we are now look, looking at today's challenge well yes. may may i respond to your lordship's concern and it's a very valid concern my lord we share that concern but what was the reason why that was removed the experience had shown that in a given sector my lord for example where the business environment uh, should be business friendly my lord in terms of the administrative or political setup some companies wanted to donate say 10% or 15% correct okay. now there was a gap 7.5% what used to happen was that company would create shell companies so i would as a main company donate 7.5% and from that shell company i would donate 7.5% to make it 15 with a view to discourage creation of shell companies we have said that it is the company it is the company doing the business doing the business through the managing direct through the board of directors which are trusted by the shareholders and therefore if they want to donate more than 70.7.5% let them do it let let that discretion remain with that as a government or as a parliament it's none of our business to prescribe that ceiling they don't uh, use more than 7.5% so that that was the purpose the purpose was to disincentivize creation of shell companies to do what they wanted to do but now but you do it but that you number two number you two can disincentivize this number two by that, allow, allow me to say by having tailor by, by having narrowly tailored provisions for instance that you must carry on business for a certain stability period you must have a certain asset base you must have a certain turnover these are all you know usually accepted uh, yardsticks under the income tax act to prevent uh, a shell company from uh, carrying on activity that another, you must another. have a certain degree of business turnover capital assets before you yes, can yes. donate that make sure that you don't have a shell company you can you can put all these things in place there's no difficulty that will obviate your concern of shell companies i bowed i bowed but another thing another thing which weighed with the government and i am just trying to satisfy your lordship's conscience about the positive approach with which my lord we approach this problem another mr solicitor we don't have to go into the motives of the government at all no, no i am giving the reason i mean the constitutional court is no part of our function to deal with motives i mean no no that's certain your lordship may uh, even deal with um, this is the rough and tumble of democracy in the i i i respect your lordship entirely respect that's why we have this freedom of speech that all of us have in the court outside the court so we respect that process which many the a time point is you, no, but the point really is this the point really is not that but we are we don't want another. to go back now to a cash only system no no that's not the purpose of the court all that we are saying is that do it do it in a proportional tailored made manner which takes care of the serious the serious deficiencies of this now now lord another uh, factor which weighed with the government while coming out this no cap policy was that if some party wants to donate more than 7.5% and they do not wish to have a shell company also what would be they i'm posing a question to myself what the company will do they they, they will not do it no that's the first idealistic option but that was not but that, that didn't used to happen what they used to do was the balance when they want to donate 10% the balance 3.5% would come in cash now at least if they donate 10% the clean money comes in the system so which is not to say that the unclean money is not coming into the system see we we are we are in fact we are in fact going into two there are two conflicting rights in a way coming from one is confidentiality other other is check on kickbacks or quid pro quo these are times not, i i would not earnestly urge i would earnestly urge not i would earnestly urge dealing with a subject my lord which is bothering everyone you know to start with a presumption that every contribution should necessarily be a part of corruption may perhaps be a wrong you know way of you know looking at things it may be that in some cases it can be quid pro quo in some cases but you know the experience have suggested that in most cases the vote you know whoever donates donors be it individual con- individual contractor businessman company trust huf etc they donate which kind of a government they want maybe 
out of 110 may be kickbacks. I'll, I'll address that kickback part also. But would that be valid if a company were to donate even 100% of its uh, revenue? Is that guided by altruistic motives? We, we might see. Everybody doesn't donate, you know, with as a kickback. Not but at all. Therefore, not kindly, but not. And do not. So have this. companies. We also have companies. All companies cannot be tarred with the same brush in India. Exactly. You have corporate sector which has contributed to the productive assets of the nation. So they are not. They have. They are not at all saying that our corporate sector the is their development of the nation. Make that assumption. Well, only only a minute. Uh, Mr. Sibyl, no. there was something personal, not, uh, uh, it was not a fun or humor, uh, out of concern I asked something. So the idea was that instead of either shell company or uh, paying by cash, let, let uh, clean money come into the system and Malot, clean money has come into the system. Second, whether we like it or not, Malot, industrial houses, commercial houses, corporations, companies, they have Malot, immensely uh, help you know, in the development of the nation. And now, you know, as I have shown. That's what I just said, that you know, we don't. So, start everyone you know, does not pay sector. by kickbacks to, to you know, believe that they need electoral bonds to be used or any other factor to be used to influence the decision making would be you know, shutting an eye on the reality. Without that, also, you know, that can be done. And Possibly, practically, despite my Lord, this white channel being available, both channels might be used by some companies which are my Lord, not kind of good companies. But good companies my Lord, do decide to donate based upon their experience, whether in this regime of the political government, my investment is safe or not. Whether the country is going forward or going backward. Whether I am... All right, Mr. Sinister, we now understand but, this. But, can we do this to sort of uh, to carry the dialogue further? Should we go straight to the scheme? Because we'd like to yes, hear you on the scheme. Page 25. Let's have a look at the scheme. Page so that 25. Your argument on the scheme will be of value to us. This we have now seen that. Uh, because your lordships you made your have, point. No doubt about no, it. Kindly, your lordships have the challenge to a provision which gives away or does away with the cap. I have given my answer for your lordships. I, I think I'm clear. Yes, of course. 